All right, a lot of you guys saw the thumbnail and were like, heat races? What do you mean about the heat races? So you see right here, it's the, it's the Florida 500. First, it's my version of the Daytona 500. Since the track is too small, it can't really fit all 22 drivers. So instead of having 22 drivers out in the field, we're gonna have 15 drivers out in the field. So here is the season three Florida 500 heat races explained. And it's probably still gonna be the same until we finish this whole, I don't know. I don't know how long I wanna continue doing this. So every car who won the last season will be able to race. So Larson, John Hammer Nemechek, um, Alex Bowman, Chase Elliott, Daniel Sorvis, and Ross Chastain. They won our race last season, they'll be able to contend. Now, there's gonna be four heat races, and in each group, and there's gonna be um, different groups. And in those groups, there's gonna be four cars, and they're all gonna do five laps around the track, and then whoever, and the two highest finishers will advance into the main race. And the cars that were not able to make it to the main event will earn seven points each. So I did the math and for the main event, last place will get eight points. So every other car is going to get seven points that weren't able to make it. So then it's all even and fair. And that is the season three Florida 500 explained. We will see you guys at the championship where I just finished recording it and let's just say that finish was wild i guess